Hello everyone, we will continue the topic data migration using business object method of LSMW and in the previous video we finished up to display converted data step. Now in this video firstly we will dig down more on read data and convert data then we will move on to further steps of LSMW. Now, firstly, we will go for more and more understanding because in this read data and convert data, lots of confusions. So we'll firstly understand how it is reading and how it is converting. Simple. If I will go for specify files, what we did in the specify file, we uploaded the file we uploaded the file this file has how many records this file has five records and two columns this file this file we assigned to which particular source structure if i will go to assign file you can see this particular file we assign to which particular source structure this source structure how many columns in the source structure we have two columns in the source structure so your file your file has how many columns your file also has two columns now we assign the file to the source structure which has two columns so whenever we will read the data, yes, data from the file, we will able to read the data from the file and it will come into our source structure. Just see, if I will show you the read data step, if I am reading the data, I am reading the data again. Five records successfully read. Now, if you see, if I will display the read data, if I will go for, okay, just see these five records are in our source structure. First record, second record, third record, fourth record, fifth record. Ultimately from the file, your record are in your source structure, source structure. And same to same columns are there. File has two columns. Our source structure has also two columns. Now, after that, when you convert the data, when you convert the data, what happened? Now just see, when we converted the data, our data from the source structure moved to the segment type. Source structure has how many columns? Two columns. Segment type has how many columns? Two columns. And if you remember, in this step, we clearly, clearly mentioned source data this source structure data is going to the segment type okay, it's going to a segment type now in the next step further we did one by one mapping whatever is employee id in the source structure it is going to the employee id of segment type whatever is in the employee name source structure it is going into the segment type of employee name now, during the read data step, during the read data step, everything is in the source structure. Now, from the source structure, whenever we will convert, it will pass to our segment type because it's clearly mentioned that we are going from one structure, we are passing it to second structure. So, our source is first structure, segment type is our second structure. So whenever I'm converting, just see after conversion, if I will go for displaying the convert data, if I will go for OK, you can clearly see what is the structure name. This is our segment type, segment type, and we have same to same column. So from the source, we pass it to our segment type and both have same to same columns. Now, why I'm putting so much stress? Because people have lots of confusion what actually read is doing and what actually convert is doing. 
now we will go for further further more clarity on the read data and convert data just see when we specify the files we have one path or i'll say one name for read data we have one name for convert data and it is clearly saying read data on application server convert data on application server just see the name of these two files project underscore sub project underscore object dot lsmw dot read project underscore sub project underscore object dot lsmw dot conv so it means whenever we will read by this file but whatever the data we will read it will go into application server with this name whenever we will convert it will go into application server with this name yes so whenever we will read data ultimately sap will store on to application server whenever we will convert sap will automatically store data on to application server i will show you suppose we are reading that data i am reading that data suppose i will just display that data five records read successfully now suppose if i will go for convert okay i will just go for read data again i will show you you can see whenever i will read it is clearly saying clearly saying whatever the file is written this with this name with this name now if i will go to convert data you can simply see if i will go for convert data sap is clearly saying this is our conversion file can we check in al11 yes we can check in al11 so if i will go to al11 you can see now most important point whatever the lsmw read and convert files are there it is always always going to dir underscore home directory if you want further more information we have a separate series data migration technique you can check there also at that time also in the batch input recording method i showed this fully now if i will go to this home directory now if i will filter on to last change if i will go for today's date now you can see we have a convert file we have a read file and it is in the application server itself suppose if i will show you the file if i will double click on the file you can see same to same data this is our first record employee id 100 name rahul employee id 101 name abhishek employee id 102 name sethu employee id 103 name shirali employee id 104 name akanksha everything is there on the application server so you can check the file from here itself also now we will go for last point here and it is very important to dig down the read and convert data when we converted the data if i will show you the data after conversion these are our five records which are in yellow color now if i will go to green if i will go to green whatever is showing in the green you will see all information is there if i will click see is this your idoc type yes is this your message type just see direction direction is to if you remember we clearly clearly learned if the direction is to it means it is inbound and we are going for inbound only if the direction is one it means it is outbound is this your port number yes is this your logical system yes and if you remember this is the partner number which you created so for each and every record which converted we have this information just see we have this information 
we have this information, we have this information, this information, this information, this information. Every, for each and every record, we are getting same to same information. IDOC type, message type, you can say partner number, partner type, file port, everything is there. Now, what we studied in this particular video, we dig down the whole concept of read data and convert data. During read data, from your path, from your path, data will come into source structure. And during the convert data, data from the source structure will come will come into your segment type and both have same to same column. Whenever you will read and convert, we have two paths automatically generate, two file name automatically generate, one with project underscore sub project underscore object dot lsmw dot read, which is the read file project underscore sub project underscore object dot lsmw dot conv is the convert file. So whenever you will read and convert in the application directory itself, you can check AL11 transaction code. It will be there in the dir underscore home directory. Now in the next video, we will move on to further steps. Thank you.